Hi, friends. Pastor Jack Mantrick here from Central United Methodist Church in Waterford, Michigan. This is the last devotion for this week, and I want to remind you that we do worship every Sunday morning at 1030 in our lovely sanctuary here at 3882 Waterford, or excuse me, Highland Road in Waterford, Michigan. And we also live stream that service. So you can look at our website, which is waterfordcumc.org. And uh, there'll be a link on the front page that will help you get to, to where you need to be. Uh, you can look us up directly, if you'd like, at live.waterfordcumc.org. And that will get you to uh, the uh, specific um, uh, website for our, live, uh, for our streaming service. Uh, friends, we've been talking about... Uh, the dual citizenship that we have with the kingdom of God and the nation in which we live, the United States in, in, in our case, for most of us uh, who are probably hearing this devotion. And I said on Wednesday's devotion that we uh, explored on Sunday the ideas that are in common between our faith community and, and our citizenship as United uh, in the United States. And that's uh, seeking equity or equality, liberty, and happiness. And I sort of use different words. I, I decided that liberty, or I, I said that liberty or freedom and happiness or contentment, I know they're not exactly the same. In fact, I've often said that I believe that it's better for us to be content than it is to be happy. Happy is, uh, uh, to me, at least the way I've always uh, thought about it, can be a very fleeting uh, emotion. It can, uh, you're, you're happy uh, to look at a flower and it brings you a smile and a, and a, and a sense of, um, of the beauty of God's creation. But contentment is, is deeper. It's more than happiness. I think uh, sometimes people can be quite happy doing bad things. Um, and uh, contentment, though, comes from a place of, of uh, being in the right relationship with God, being in the right relationship with others. And uh, that's what I wanted to speak to you today. Uh, in his first letter, Peter gives practical advice uh, to the Christian community. He says, as servants of God, um, live as free people, yet do not use your freedom as a pretext for evil. Honor everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honor the emperor. Kind of goes back to the original scripture that we looked at for this message uh, this past week was the one in which Jesus was confronted by a Jewish leader saying, look, you know, um, they, they asked him, should we pay taxes to the emperor? And Jesus said, have you got a denarii on you? Uh, whose uh, face and a name is on it? And they said, the emperor's. And said, well, then give to the emperor what is the emperor's and give to God what is God's. And, and I, Jesus isn't saying that we need to divide up our life and compartmentalize our lives so much that we have these different interests in different areas of our life. But he's saying, look, God wants certain things for us. The emperor wants certain things for us and, uh, and himself. And in, in terms of our relationships, we are to seek um, uh, seek that equality, that freedom, and that happiness, or that freedom and contentment, uh, as I'd like to say. And uh, I, you know, it's good for us to think about what truly brings us joy and happiness and contentment. As Christians, we know that happiness isn't an isolated and individual experience. It comes from being part of a community of believers. Others bring us joy. This past 4th of July, uh, we had our little community, which is our family. Uh, all of our grandchildren were with us, and it was just a beautiful time. We played. We uh, made s'mores. We lit off a few um, uh, uh, fireworks and sparklers, uh, age appropriate for them. But we had a great time together. And, uh, and, and hopefully it, those experiences, those times of being together, enjoying and having fun together, enjoying each other and, and having fun together is a, is a means for us to, to deepen the relationship, to feel comfortable with each other, and to know that we are seeking each other's peace and freedom and contentment. So I want you to think about what it means to seek happiness within the context of community. Because just being happy could be at the expense of others, but seeking it within the context of, of community, in the context of family, in the context of a church or your workplace has a different uh, uh, ring to it, right? 
it, it means not just your happiness, but the happiness of others as well. So I want you to meditate upon that. Think about that. Certainly want to, once again, uh, invite you to come and worship with us at Central Church, 1030 on Sunday mornings, either online or in person at our beautiful sanctuary here at 3882 Highland Road in Waterford, Michigan. Let's end with prayer. Gracious God, we do thank you for this time together, for the time together throughout this week. As we have thought about what it means to be a citizen of your kingdom and a citizen of the nations in which we live, help us to know that there are commonalities and that we are all seeking the good of others as we seek it for ourselves as well. May it be a part of who we are as followers of Christ to seek the same opportunities, the same freedom, the same uh, contentment for others as well as for ourselves. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a great weekend, friends, and God bless you.